Michelle and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be sharing a little bit about gardening in the winter. I'm going to talk a little bit about it and then I'm going to show you what I did. So uh, where the house that I have, the, my house technically only has two south facing windows. One is in my kitchen and one is in my den. So <laughs> my kitchen window is really small, I'll show you. Actually, I probably won't show you the window, but just take my word for it, it's extremely tiny. But I have things off in the corner and I have something growing that I'm going to show you because uh, it was just like a, a hunch, like a, something I wanted to try and it worked. And then I'll show you some things that didn't work. <laughs> so I'm going to show you a little bit about how to garden in a windowsill or in the winter, which is what my case is. Um, so I'm going to show you my two windows and what I have growing there. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about what I did. This is what I have. I have a corner thing next to my window. That's my window. <laughs> but this is what I wanted to show you. So in here, you see this? Let's see if I can get it. There we go. This is turmeric. I had a turmeric that sprouted. I don't know if you can tell. And I threw it in here. I'm like, oh, I should try that. So that's turmeric. This thing right here was a stem from my sweet potatoes in the garden. I tried to grow it and it didn't work so well. But this right here is a sweet potato and it's growing. That sprouted in the house. This right here, that is a carrot. I'm waiting for it to root. I've never done it before, but I've it's like happy. I don't understand that. These are my Christmas cactus. No, actually they're Thanksgiving cactus. They've never bloomed before, but I managed to keep it alive. This is lettuce. I just sprouted a, there's my leaf. <laughs> um, it's so sweet. It's really good. This one here, you can tell that's a celery and I just watered it and put it in there. And this is the, what did I call it? Mm, if I think of the word, I'll tell you about. It's the lettuce that grows. It's like in a, oh, it's terrible, I can't remember, but. Sorry, this is what my plate, or my pan lids. And then down here, I have, this is my pineapple. It's, I don't understand why it's growing really well, but is this is I think a spider plant a friend gave me. This is my aloe vera. This is the longest I've ever kept an aloe vera, and I didn't kill it. So that's part of my inside growing, and it's just in a corner, so it's not terribly lit up, but it's enough southern window that these plants seem to do okay. So now I will show you my other one. Okay, so this right here, you can see it is a pepper plant. Let's see if I can find what pepper. It's a spicy pepper. I just can't remember if it's, I think it's the ghost pepper, but you can see it's over there. I took it out of my garden and I planted it in here. Like you can see, the pot had an accident. It fell, but it's still alive. So I'm trying to grow it just to keep it alive. That's the pepper that never ripened. <laughs> All right, and this is my rosemary. It smells really good. Mmm, if you could just smell it. Okay, this is my sage. There's my window. See, it's hard to tell because it's dark. This right here is stevia. And this right here is stevia. I don't know if you can see it. I kept them alive, that's amazing. All right, this one right here is stevia. This right there is my ginger. This is another pepper plant. Let's see which one is this one. This is the um uh, here. This is the ghost pepper. The other one is the color line. And then over here is kind of dead looking. That is the turmeric I grew last year. That's what I understand. I just have to dig it up. I haven't tried it yet. But I am just impressed with the ginger. Mm -hmm. 
thing of herbs that I have to figure out how to put it over here. <laughs> this is my sunny window so it's kind of, yeah. The other things I have are, I'll show you. I forget what this plant is called, but you can overwinter them in your basement or I'm choosing it to do it in my den. But I have one, two, three, four, five. And then this is what the flower is. I don't know if you can tell. I used to have a, la a label for it. Here it is. This is what they are. Geraniums. There you go. Some terrible names. But I, they get there in one of my gardens outside. So there we go. This is my other one that I'm struggling to keep wet. It's got thyme in it and it has a rosemary and a sage somewhere. Which one it is. <clears throat> Sage is right here. But my problem is, is, is I need to put it in a container underneath. Like right here, I need to have a tray to stick it in. And I keep watering it, but it really does better if I actually do a tray. So I need to go buy a tray of some sort to be able to water it. So that's my winter garden tour. <laughs> have you done any of the things like ginger or turmeric and how did it work for you? Have you done any herbs in a windowsill before or like the celery and lettuce? I actually have a window box that I will have to go show you one week. I kind of forgot about it and it's dark so I can't take you outside but I have a window box that has um, colored green. No, I have kale in it and I've had kale for several years. Spinach, Trying to think. I think I have um, broccoli and cabbage too. I don't know how well they did. I haven't looked at it in a while. So, um, but they're in my window box. So they're waiting for spring to come and hopefully I get some in the winter. I can pick the kale. Um, I just haven't. But I was work. I was trying to get the spinach established so it would grow when it was warmer out there with the window. But I can share more of that later. It's in Wisconsin, in the Midwest, in Wisconsin where I live, we obviously have frigid cold winters, so I can grow a little bit, but it doesn't always do fabulously like you would if I had a greenhouse. But I do get some, and a lot of, I remember when I, a couple of years ago, I had spinach, it was baby spinach, but it grew to 12 inches, like the leaf was 12 inches long, it was huge. Um, so I, that's my attempt to try and do it again. I don't know if I'll succeed, but I'm gonna try. So if you live in the Midwest, have you done any window box growing? If so, could you share a little bit about it? I'd love to hear what your experience is. I don't know any people that do it. Most people do a greenhouse or a hothouse kind of thing, and I don't have that. My husband built me a window box and I'm grateful for it. So I'm using what I got. So anyway, thanks for taking along and I'll see you later. Bye.